and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk with Sam and Sam. Today we are talking about design trends, specifically with kitchen cabinetry. Now Sam, when I started helping Lee about five years ago with cabinetry, 90% of our sales were white shaker cabinets. And I'm not exaggerating, everyone that came in wanted white shaker cabinets. Um, I'm not, you know, in touch with the cabinetry world right now, but I'm seeing a lot of different colors and textures come in for samples. Can you tell me about what's changing? What are we seeing more, you know, more homeowners lean to now? So I don't think white painted shakers ever going to go out of style, but what we are seeing is a lot of people bringing in wood tones and incorporating that with painted finishes. So there's mixed textures and, and tones in a kitchen. Walnut is in. Um, awesome. Walnut is beautiful. This is a natural walnut yep. door, and there's different stains available. Right. Um, roof cut white oak is really this one right now. Yeah. That's one of our. Favorites. I love this one. Yeah. Everyone loves this one. <laughs> Everyone loves that one. Um, so we're seeing people opt for like a wood island yep. or wood floating shelves. Yep. We're seeing a lot of open shelving, yeah. in fact. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's fun to just kind of like mix up that painted finish with sure. some, some wood tones and it brings a sense of warmth into the space right. too. Right. So we're That's seeing... That's really fun. Yeah, it is. And we're seeing a lot of uh, slab style doors. Yeah. So this is an example of a slab style door yep. in green, which is a very popular yep. color Greens too. and blues. Greens, Greens and blues. blues. Very true. <laughs> Um, but the slab is great. It lends itself to a nice modern look. Very modern. I yep. love it. Yep. I love it. And I love the matte finish on that. I yes. love that. Just, yeah. yeah. It's a nice Something clean about look. it. Um, we can have some fun things with slabs. Right. Opposite of matte finish. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a shiny one. Yep. This is a laminate style door. Okay. And with laminate, you can get the high gloss. You sure. can get matte. Sure. Um, a lot of options yeah. for different textures, are people, too. As, are people doing one more than the other right now? Um... Well, I would say painted finishes are going to be like sure. the most yeah. prevalent. In yeah, space, those are always but, timeless. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, painted um, finish. But it's fun. I mean, some for clients that really want that yeah. modern look, a lot of people are choosing for like laminates yeah. and slabs, and it's so easy to care for too. Right. Yeah. So that's fun. Um, we're seeing a little bit of a shift in hardware, Sam, which okay. has been funny too. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're getting away from like the traditional polished chromes, yep. brushed satin nickels, and we're seeing more flat black. Sure. And we're seeing um, the satin brass. I which love is fun. the satin brass. Oh, the satin brass is fun. It's really fun. That's our it. faucet behind us is the satin brass. Yeah. And it works good on like the, yeah. the bright painted finishes. Which is funny because polished brass seems so traditional to me, but it's yes. like throw a satin finish on it and it's yeah. new and contemporary. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And... So we're seeing shifts in in textures and textiles and color. We're seeing a shift in hardware. Are we seeing a shift in countertops? Because quartz was the name of the game for a long time. People loved quartz because it couldn't mimic marble. It couldn't mimic granite. Um, But I'm hearing a lot of talk about natural stone. So why are we talking more about natural stone now than we did five years ago? So natural stone is definitely coming back, and we've seen it a lot with our clients. Um, People are moving towards quartzite. Sure. I mean, granite is kind of the king of all kings yeah, for countertops, yeah. but a lot it's of people are choosing option. like a honed finish. Uh, we're Which seeing... is like kind of equivalent in my mind to like a matte finish. It's true. Yep. Um, soapstone is yep. big. And sometimes it's just special to have like a unique stone in your space. Right. Uh, quartz is beautiful and a lot of people want quartz because they want the white, bright look of yep. marble yep. with some veining, but they don't want the downsides of marble. Sure. So um, I think quartz is great for that, yep. but you can't put hot down on quartz right, because right. there's a resin component so with natural stone that's not yeah you, know, not you don't have to worry about it and yeah. it's just more unique you yeah. know you, you, each totally slab is. is different it totally is and what about spaces so when we're designing kitchens your space is your space right mm-hmm. there, there's only so many layouts or designs we can do yeah are there trends that we're seeing that are changing as far as the function and how people are using and designing their space yeah so i think um Mostly, we're seeing a lot of large islands. Yeah, people really want to max out that island space. Some people are actually opting not to have like a traditional dining seating area, and they're just going with a large island that can accommodate their family, which is great. And it serves as both, right? So, like large island, yeah, more storage, and then you're getting seating, which is closer to cooking, kitchen, more communal. Yeah, and you're getting more space in your home because you're not worrying about a dining room set in the dining room next door, and you can use it for different different things. Yeah, that's exactly right. I like that. Yeah. 
yeah, talking yeah. about like maxing out the space, accessories. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of options with accessories now, and it yeah. really allows you to optimize, especially like a small space. A small space. It's but huge. really, yeah, in all spaces, we're seeing a lot of our clients want to kind of max out mm. accessories. Yeah, stay organized. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's it's a great way to do that. Yeah, totally. yeah. Well, I think one thing that rings true is that with all these changes in colors and wood and texture lends itself to be a little overwhelming. Yes. I think especially for homeowners, there's this vision and there's a lot of visions, right? You know, we love this color. We love this wood. We love this texture. And we, and we want to kind of have it all, but you know, you kind of need someone to kind of level your head. And I think our designers yeah. do a really good job Thanks. of kind of weeding through all the options and figuring out what's the wish list. Yep. What are the needs? What are the wants? What's the long-term goal? Are you selling in two years? Is this your forever home? Uh, so I think it's important for people to know that although there is many options and it can be overwhelming, our designers do a really great job of working with you, your family, your contractor to figure out what your needs are and what's really important to you to really you know, define your space. So I think, you know, the first step for anybody considering renovating their kitchen is just giving us a call or coming into the showroom. There's no better place to kind of figure out what's out there than yeah. coming here and feeling and, and touching, you know, our samples. Um, is there anything else you want to add to that, Sam? Or? No, I think this is great. Awesome. I was so excited to talk about this. Yeah, time. yeah. Talking yeah. about trends, especially colors, is always fun. So, yeah, yeah happy to do it. Thank well, you. thanks, everyone, for joining us for another episode of Coffee Talk with Sam and Sam. Cheers. Thank you.